for a lot of counties, Fort Bend, Harris, Montgomery, and Waller counties. And uh, we could see a flash flood emergency issued um, not too long from now. So that is something that the National Weather Service is going to continue to monitor uh, over the next uh, hour or so. Live from Houston, weather warfare taking place, spring branch, homes getting flooded, cars stalling all over, high water rescues, they're getting four, five, six inches per hour. East Houston area, uh, not East Houston, East Texas. Listen to this broadcast. It's really remarkable. Okay, they're talking about bayous and they're uh, flooding over, inching up to homes. And I wanted to go live. I, I don't know how to go live. I don't know how to go live. I wanted to go live and then just as you're listening. I'm monitoring the National, uh, National Weather Service chat page here. Got so as you're listening, I would just be going through all of my documents that I have, all of the research that I've done on weather modification and you know, it's like artificial clouds and black carbon clouds, black carbon, the, the uh, paper, uh, William Gray, I believe it was, how black carbon dust, you can use that. And it's very inexpensive to modify the weather and all of the artificial uh, cloud making that they have. And yeah, I, I just wanted to flip through all of it while everybody is listening to this live broadcast of Houston getting slammed. People are texting in, is this Harvey 2.0? No, it's not Harvey, but close. Um, black carbon dust. Look at that horizontal black cloud. Have you seen them in your skies? I certainly have. I sure have. You know, chemtrails. Where did that where did that term come from? It came from the Department of Chemistry at the US Air Force Academy. Theoretical considerations of the effectiveness of carbon seeding. US Army. US Army. I'm so unbelievably just heartsick on what is going on, all of the all of the weather commercial weather modification companies, weather modification inc and all of their the services that they provide for countries and well when you see they provide services for countries and then the United States they provide services for so many states like Delaware and and uh, Illinois let's see Sonoma uh, Santa Barbara California Oklahoma Texas 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 University of North Dakota Arizona oh man A whole lot. You know, the Texas Weather Modification Association, Wyoming Weather Modification Pilot Program, uh, the North American Weather Consultants, oh, the world's longest standing private cloud seeding weather modification company since 1950. 1950. They were already modifying the weather. Lots of publications on that site. No, I'm not going to be linking to any of this. They can produce snowfall augmentation, rainfall augmentation. Then you have the West Texas weather modification. Oh, the, uh, Texas, you have your own weather modification associations that provide you with weather modification. Just clouds another fabulous weather modification company 
We have a weather modification association. Unbelievable. Unfriggin' believable. Ice. Ice. Crystals. Engineering. And all the different ways in which and, uh, and the products that they sell to create ice nucleation in our clouds. Then we have Desert Research Institute spanning the globe. Yes, well, the modification. And we've got universities involved. We have uh, state utilities, water uh, utility companies. I mean, it's I can't believe that we can't get through to people. It's really, how about that 1974 hearing? Oh, weather modification. Yeah, when it was disclosed that our military was modifying the weather in Vietnam, we had a Senate hearing. United States Senate, March 20, 1974. And you see how fabulous those hearings, how effective they are, right? At getting anything done. The objective, increase ra rainfall sufficiently in carefully selected areas to deny the enemy the use of roads. This was what our military was doing in Vietnam. They were softening road surfaces, causing landslides along roadways, washing out river crossings. Maintain, they maintained saturated soil conditions beyond the normal time span. And how many times are you hearing the ground is saturated the ground is saturated the ground is saturated so in um, questioning these military colonels Senator Pell stated this in the hearing you are not working on any of these far out thoughts that have been brought out in testimony before. You are not working on any of these, those projects at this time. The Colonel um, Kayan, no sir. Well, lying is the way we uh, live here in our country. Lying is just, well, it's just a given. Senator Pell, the development of typhoons, or the creation of earthquakes, or the melting of the Greenland ice cap. Anything of that sort? Colonel Kean, no, sir. Senator Pell, obviously melting the Greenland ice cap would be very disin disadvantageous to us, or for us. And then Mr. Dolan, that would really be what you would call climate modification rather than weather modification. Senator Pell, exactly. Colonel Kane, the lead agency in the Tropical Storm Modification Program is the Department of Commerce. The program is called Storm Fury. <sighs> weather modification study. Mr. Dolan, I am aware of a study that is being done for the White House. When do you expect that study to be finished? Another two weeks or so. <sighs> Other weather, weather modification programs. The secrecy of this program. That was what Senator Pell said. Since the secrecy of this program is held so tightly, do you think there could be other weather modification programs going on now in the government of which you are not aware? I am not asking this facetiously. I just don't know, Mr. Dolan. It is possible, but I would think not. Senator Pell, have the armed services provided support or training or equipment in this regard to any foreign groups or any foreign governments or troops? Colonel Kane, I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce this, this guy's name. I think it's K A. I think that is it. An E H N, I'm not sure. Well, he said to some degree there has been interest shown 
by the Philippines in the te techniques, the research and development we have done, and the methodology. The apparatus is commercially available. Senator Pell, as far as you know, then, we have not conducted any weather modification activity over Cuba? No, sir. The only ones we have done are in this part of the world, Vietnam? Yes, sir. Senator Pell, I must say in conclusion that my own strong recommendation and thought is that you ought to declassify this and we will ask you to declassify and publish today's hearing and the whole program. It would restore a great deal of confidence not only in America but around the world. <sighs> Has the Department of Defense worked with the CIA? This was all Department of Defense, not the Central Intelligence Agency. Well, I beg to differ. Let's see. Central Intelligence Agency weather modification. December 14, 2016. Uh, this is a release date. December 3rd, 2002. The CIA is absolutely involved. Involved. Here, look at them blowing up like the entire half of Texas, the southern half of Texas. Yes, hi. Hey. All right, so composite radar. Let's just check out what's, what is going on, man. Here's the high frequency heating. Wow. Look at the some frequency is pushing all of this precipitation. Now, when have we seen uh, a storm split and somehow, well, the bottom half goes south and the top half goes north or east? Look at all of the um, high frequency heating that is taking place in this. This is this is weather warfare, guys. This is happening. We're watching weather warfare. You see the uh, circular pattern right here, and there's another one right here, and there's another one right here, here, here. Here, going through the high frequencies are blasting away with this. Let me try to get a better shot of that. Yep, right here. You certainly are not going to hear any of that from a <laughs> meteorologist, that's for sure. Okay. Unbelievable. It's just ripping right through this. God. Well. Yeah. And this isn't even... And uh, I mean, this doesn't really represent all of the research that I have done over the years because I have external hard drives with more. Uh, it's, you know, that was wrong. Nineteen sixty eight, McDonald had to wreck the planet, and that is all about weather modification. Nineteen sixty eight. 
Air War College weather as a weapon, artificial rain making, lasers, atmospheric ionization, ionization, weather modification, harp, investigations of weather modification, ionization, atmosphere, It's so unbelievable that we have to have people, you know, claim that we're crazy and when so they're, I mean, weather modification, weather weapons and earthquake bombs, world leaders condemn Britain and America's secret arsenal, government-sponsored technologies for weather modification. Washington's New World Order weapons have the ability to trigger climate change. Weather warfare, the invisible U.S. military offenses in weather weaponry. Navy research paper, disrupt economies with man-made floods and droughts. Timeline. History of weather modification, weather warfare, climate modification, geoengineering. Here's Doppler radar coming to Massachusetts. God, man. And then what, what do I have bookmarked? Oh, just a few documents. Just a few. Just a few, right? Weather modification law in the USA. How about the full text of weather modification activities going on from November 1, 72 to December 31, 73. Listing of the 68 initial reports of weather modification activities submitted to NOAA my God, weather modification activity, U.S. Department of Commerce, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Office of Environmental Monitoring and uh, Predication, um, pred Predication, I don't know, whatever, I'm too tired, recommended national program in weather modification. Whew. Modern and perspective technologies for weather modification activities. A look at integrating unmanned aircraft systems. Well, now we get to listen. Lots, Lots of lightning here at the building. And uh, to recap, the Weather Prediction Center has placed um, has placed uh, southeast Texas in a high risk of excessive rainfall. The last time we saw a high risk of excessive rainfall was Hurricane Harvey back in August of 2017. So uh, when you see a high risk issue, the boy, that is exceptionally rare to, to, to see that. And now we've got one issued for tonight, and we're now certainly seeing the, uh, that come to fruition as far as the uh, the heavy rain goes across southeast Texas and it just continues to redevelop here and it's going to be with us for an, at least another couple of hours. Zooming on out you can see this is just not our problem. It stretches from east Texas all the way down into central Texas, uh, south of Austin, east of uh, San Antonio and then of course up in our area as well. So it is a long um, it is yes, a long it's a boundary. Very long state. manufactured storm that a whole lot of people, animals will have to suffer. The link only to this live broadcast is below.